For decades, the most widely used method of execution in the United States prisons, and supposedly the most humane, was lethal injection. But then the drug companies started banning their drugs because uh, they didn't want them used to kill people. And then a nationwide shortage happened upon us. And now, at least some of the 27 states that send murderers to death row are looking for some other way to carry out the ultimate punishment. And last month, a lawmaker in Tennessee suggested hanging by a tree. That was only a suggestion, and the lawmaker actually has since apologized, but a little over a week ago, Governor of Idaho signed a bill to bring back the firing squad, 14 years after it was outlawed. Idaho is now the fifth state with firing squads after Oklahoma, Mississippi, Utah, and South Carolina. The Idaho law takes effect on July 1st. So, you see it, that makes it a real possibility for Brian Koberger if the prosecutors decide to go that route. And, of course, if Koberger is found guilty of quadruple murder and gets the death penalty. The law also carves out $750,000 to refurbish a death chamber. But what about the shooters, the marksmen? The only recent example that we have is Utah, and that state has carried out three firing squad executions in the past 50 years, most recent of which was in 2010. And apparently Utah has a manual, an actual manual, on how a firing squad should operate. Five volunteers are selected, two alternates are selected, each of them is a law enforcement officer, and they have to pass a rifle test. Manual calls for a Winchester 30 caliber rifle, uh, one of which will be loaded with blanks. Not one of the shooters gets to know which person has the blanks. The condemned prisoner, then, is led to a steel chair on an elevated platform uh, with sandbags piled high on either side, that's supposedly to catch the, uh, the ricocheting bullets. The inmate is strapped to the chair, black hood put over the face, target pinned over the heart, and then five rifles just open fire from 25 feet away behind a wall. If it sounds brutal, defense attorneys have called this inhumane and barbaric, but some experts have said, this is fast and it's effective, and the chance of being botched is small. But what do you think? I wanna hear from you on this. I want you to send me a video with your thoughts. Don't go over 30 seconds, please. Please, it's just, it's too hard. Uh, send it to Banfield Tips at NewsNationNow.com. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.